Welcome guys. So today we are going to prove this uh, theorem. So uh, let R be a commutative ring with uh, zero. So I use uh, we use zero R and one R to be the one zero one unit. An important element. Of, okay, so let me just write down definition. So the nipotent element, basically, uh, uh, element x is called the nipotent. Uh, uh, x is called nipotent uh, if if x to the if x to the power of n. So x to the power of n is zero. Uh, for some n belongs to a positive integer. Okay, well, will form the ideal. Okay. Uh, so in order to prove it's ideal, we only need to check the two things, right? So the first thing is, is if, okay, so let's call it uh, i. Okay, so if x belongs to i, and therefore uh, any a belongs to r, uh, we, I want to show that ax belongs to i. Okay, so this is the first thing I want to prove. The second thing is if x belongs to i, y belongs to i, this will imply x minus i belongs to i. Okay, so uh, this is very easy. We just check one by one. So the first one, uh, ax, right? Suppose x belongs to i, so that makes x to the power of n is zero. Okay, so ax to the power. So given a, right? You, you, we can take this, right? So it becomes a n x n, which is a n zero r, so which is zero. Okay, for the second one, uh, so x belongs to i means that uh, x to the n is zero. Now y belongs to i means that y belongs to uh, y to the m. Let's assume that y to n will be zero. Okay, so I can just take for x minus y, I can just take x minus y n plus m, right? So this is n plus m. So this is first one is just x n plus m minus uh, some coefficient. Uh, x to the n plus m minus 1, y to the what, right? And uh, to the y to the m. Okay. So, uh, since this is n plus n, right? So, for any x or y, then the, uh, either one of the condition will success. Either one of condition will success. So, this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 to 0. Okay. So, from uh, 1 and 2, we can check that i is indeed an idea r. Okay, that's it. I will see you guys in other videos. Be sure to subscribe to my Ring Theory uh, YouTube channel.